and it's just like I just don't have the time I need more time and that's on period okay let's see 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 okay hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl faith back again with another video um as always before you even get into the content make sure you like comment and subscribe um because you are important to me and i should be important to you as well so let's get these numbers growing tell a friend to tell a friend to come watch my videos <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think I want to refer to you guys as my faithfuls because you're faithful for watching me and my name is Faith, so why can't you just be my faithful? We'll see. We'll see where that goes. Um, but yeah, today I think I'm going to just do a story time. I didn't know what story to do just because like I have a lot of stories, but I'm a little iffy with putting my business out in the street. So it, it I don't know, it's kind of like hard for me to pick a story that makes sense but it's like not giving too much of my business but it's still very really interesting so i think what i'm gonna do is a story time on my worst date experience ever dun, dun, dun. oh not to mention your girl got some mcdonald's some wine and you gotta stay hydrated some water get you some water sis cold and spring period period i know this is probably not the best water out there okay but this is what i have and this is what i'm drinking because i drink water all day long gotta stay hydrated all day long all day long all day long gotta stay hydrated all day long hey 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 i have a severe mental problem so if you can relate like this video all right so let's get into it first of all before anything, let me crack my wine open. Cheers, did you hear that? Click! Yes. This is my little wine glass that I always use. It's like holographic. You probably can't see that on camera. My nails are horrible right now. Like, I'm sure everybody can relate. Hair, nails, eyelashes, eyebrows, everything trash i know <sighs> first sip is always great all right so i got my cup of wine i'm gonna put the wine to the side i'm pretty sure if anybody comes to my room in the morning they're gonna think i'm an alcoholic but i promise you i'm not mom or jasmine because those are the only people that would come in my room i'm not an alcoholic i was just doing a video okay don't be concerned don't worry but let's get into this i got just like a mukbang mukbang um Oh, I should have did a thumbnail. Maybe none with the McDonald's bag. If dogs are like having kids, I'm not ready yet. I need more time and that's on period. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna try to recall. I'm gonna try to recall what happened. Honestly, every time I think about it, I crack up. Stop, no, no. Ori, you gotta go, my friend. All right, sorry about the interruption, guys. I told you, he's a problem. He's very problematic. But anyway, long story short, I'm single. I was single at the time as well. And I was on dating apps, right? So, well, on dating apps, you meet people, obviously, that's the point. And this is hard to eat and tell a story. But you meet people, and after talking to people, well, me personally, you meet people I'm not interested. Like, I just, you know, you match with people or whatever the case may be. And nine times out of ten, I'm not interested. However, some people, they're cool, they're cute, whatever. I might give you a shot. Not to toot my own horn or anything like that. That's just, you know, how it is. Because nowadays, you have to be super careful with people you meet online. Cause there's a lot of creeps out here sis you gotta be careful okay we gotta drink to that one come on come on get your cup i don't i don't see your wine but yeah so people are creepy they're weird they're just absolute weirdos so after talking to them 
well some people i would be like oh like he's cute but i'm not interested or oh he's cute but nah or whatever like he's cute i like him maybe we can meet maybe not this one particular guy we were talking for a little while on there and he he asked me for my number i gave it to him whatever because i felt comfortable enough since we were talking for a while and we had a cool little vibe going on so i gave him my phone number and when i gave him my number we were talking for a couple of days whatever whatnot and then eventually he's like yo like i'm trying to see you i'm like oh no because you know people try to see you one thing leads to another and that's not what i'm about and that's not what i wanted to happen so i was a little sketch i was like you trying to see me what okay so i just kept blowing it off like no 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 i'm not ready yet so eventually i was like okay cool i think it was like a night i didn't have anything to do i don't know i can't remember but i just was like okay cool you want to see me come through whatever because i'm definitely not coming to you so if you want to see me you can come see me so he was like that like I'm gonna, I'm gonna be there in 30 minutes or an hour i was like okay cool so me if you know me i'm always late and i wait to the last minute so the time is i think he's like for example i think he said oh i'm gonna be there at 9 30 and it was like 8 30 or something like that i was like okay cool I didn't take him serious whatever so it's like 9 15 i'm like let me shower like let me get ready he said he's gonna be here at 9 30. so i shower and so i shower and as soon as i get out the shower i'm like rushing because i'm like oh shoot he said he's gonna be here at 9 30. he calls me he's like i'm outside bet i already knew which car was his because we talked about it like what kind of car he drove, what job he does, you know, all the getting to know you questions. So, he calls me. No, first of all, he calls me. Red flag number one. He calls me when he gets here or whatever. And the building that I was living in at the time was like kind of confusing if you're not familiar with the area. So, he calls me when he gets there. And here's the gag. He's like, um,. Where you at? Like, this is not confusing. Like, where, where is it? Like, da 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 Where you at? Where you at? Oh, oh. Huffing and puffing, like, getting so mad on the phone. I'm like, yo, chill out. Like, I don't know who you think you're talking to, but you're not talking to me like that. You need to chill out. So I'm already like, ugh, like, I'm off this. Like, I don't even want to go on the date. Like, I don't even care because I'm not down with this guy's attitude. So I'm trying to explain to him, and in the middle of me explaining to him of where I'm at or like how to get there, he hangs up on me. So I'm like, oh, okay, so this is already setting the tone of how the day is gonna go. He hangs up, I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe he just got frustrated. Like I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's just annoyed or whatever. Maybe something happened I don't know about on the way here. Like, let me just, let me just calm down and give him the benefit of the doubt. So he bangs on me. I'm like, okay. So three minutes later, he calls me and he's like, oh, like, uh, I think I'm outside. Da, 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 da. And I look out my window and I can see like all the cars. So I was like, oh yeah, I think I see you. He's like, how do you know what car I have? I'm like, well, duh. Like we talked about this before. Clearly I already know what car you drive. He's like, all right, well, I'm gonna park here, come down, whatever. So I was like, okay, but so I'm finished getting ready. He doesn't know that um, I just got out the shower. My hair is wet. Like I'm not dressed. Like I need to get myself together. But I wasn't going to tell him that because based off his attitude from the first phone call, I wasn't going to tell him that I was going to be late and just rub the whole thing the wrong way. So I was just like, let me just not say anything. I'm going to take my time and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to take my time and get down there when I, I'm ready. So I get down there, I go to his car or whatever. And then he's like on his phone, but he has tents on his car. So he didn't see me come out the building. So I get over there and I just bang on the window. He got so scared. He's like, yo, you scared me. Da, 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 da. So we get in the car, and then, first of all, tip number one, ladies. Don't ever get in the car with a stranger that you don't know because it's just very risky, especially nowadays. Like, it's just scary. So don't do it. I'm stupid. I know. I was young and dumb. Whatever. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> so I get in the car, and meanwhile, I don't think anybody knows I'm even going on this date. Like, I had no business going on this date in the first place, probably, and nobody knew, and I shouldn't have gotten in the car, but I did so I get in there 
and he's like turning on lights like oh talking all his stuff like oh you're so pretty your hair da 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 like i don't even know what he's saying so then he goes like so what are we gonna do and i was like i don't know like that's for you to find out like i'm just here you say you wanted to see me so what's up so he's like what are we gonna do where are we gonna go like it's kind of late like it was already like maybe 10 o'clock by this time it's kind of late so do you want to eat and i'm like no i'm not really hungry he's like do you want to go here and i'm like no do you want to go here i'm like no so i was like i mean honestly we could just chill in the car so we're just chilling and he has this thing about keeping the lights on in the car because he wants to see me so i was like okay cool so we're just talking we're talking whatever and then he's telling me all these stories like literally the whole time he's just talking about himself like yeah so i do this and my job is this and i'm getting that money and i do this and i see my bro do this and this happened to me x y and z and he's from the hood and this and this and, and i'm just like are you done yet because i'm not interested like are you gonna ask me about me like hello you wanted to see me so are you gonna ask about me like i don't mind to hear about you i love to get to know people but like a date goes both ways so he's just talking so he's talking da, 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 da. i'm a cute i was a cute i was pledging to be a cute but x y and z happened and i wasn't able to do it no more so whatever cool so we're talking and then he's like yeah so like first of all did you let somebody know where you were did you send like them a picture of me did you at least turn your location on i'm like red flag number two like you're scaring me because why are you so concerned about who I told about where I was going and my location? Like, I didn't know if it was because he genuinely cared or if it was because, like, he was up to something and, like, I wasn't going to make it back home. Like, I was scared. I was like, uh, I don't know what's going on. So I was contemplating about getting out of the car because I'm like, you're kind of scaring me. And he's like, nah, because, like, I have a sister and, like, I would always want her to do the same. Like, I don't want her to be out here with dudes and, like, not being mindful of what's going on. I was like oh, okay so maybe he's not a creep so i was like okay whatever so we're in the car still we're still debating on where to go so he goes mind you the whole time he's bragging about how he makes money he does this job a longshoreman i think he was or whatever he's like i got money like he's just bragging about how much money he has what he wants to do with his money his goals and whatever i'm like cool i did you got money i don't care so he's like, all right, well, I got this $100 bill. I'm trying to break this $100 bill. So, like, let's go somewhere so I could just break this whatever. Because I'm pretty sure a lot, a lot of places are not open anymore. By this time, the time has went on. It's like, like 11, 12, whatever. We were in the car for a minute. So it's like, okay. So we're still talking. We never went. So then eventually he's like, let's just go. So, mind you, he doesn't even know where he's going. He's getting so annoyed because, like, he has a little problem, I guess. Like, a little anger management. I don't know. I wasn't here for it. So, he's like, are you going to tell me how to get there? So, oh, we, we decided to go to 7-Eleven so he could break this bill and he wanted snacks or something. I was like, okay, whatever. You're not going up to my apartment, but, um, you're not going up to my place, but whatever. I'll come with you to get snacks because I'm not going to give you some out of my house. So, whatever. We went to 7-Eleven. And we get there he's like he, like he's parks the car or whatever and then he's like okay um let's go in and i was like no i'm cool like i, I want to stay here you could go ahead and he's like nah but you gotta get out you gotta get out too like i'm not about to leave you out here by yourself in this car like i don't know what can happen to you like you gotta get out too and i was like mind you because we were talking on an app he's been in the car the whole time i haven't seen him outside the car yet so I was like, oh, maybe he's just trying to see, like, size me up compared to him or, like, whatever. So I was like, okay, like, you're really pushing it, but okay, I'll get out the car. So we get out the car. I'm, like, kind of going slow. And, like, he gets out on his side and he's, like, kind of going slow, whatever, getting himself situated because I guess he's been sitting for a while. We both kind of were. So we get out the car. And first of all, like, he just wasn't my type. He just wasn't my type. I just wasn't interested after that and second of all I feel like I was like kind of taller than him and he was a little bit shorter than me because I'm kind of tall I'm 5'7 and I was like I don't know like he said that he was tall but like from the looks of things he doesn't look that tall because I think I'm taller than him but I didn't get that close because I wasn't trying to be booed up in the store because I already knew after strike two that I'm, this is a dub so we're in the store we go in or whatever 
we're literally walking around he's like you want something and i'm like no i didn't even want to be in here in the first place so he's like all right so we're walking around the store and i'm like yo what are we doing in here like we're looking sus because neither one of us sus, suspects sorry we're looking weird because neither one of us are getting anything we're just walking around the store it's late at night and this guy probably thinks we're up to something or trying to rob him or something so he's like oh nah like i just want to break this hundred but nah like let's just go so he pulls out the hundred and he's like uh you, you want something i was like no i already told you i don't want anything so i was like no so he's like all right let's just go so he puts the hundred back in his pocket and he gets in the car and like we leave or whatever and i'm like well what was the point of that like he wants to show off that he has a hundred dollar bill so bad like who cares it's a hundred dollar bill like that's not even bad money that's like little change so i was just cracking up right so we're driving back we're driving back we're in a car listening to music and to me he starts to come off like a little aggressive like everything that he was saying was just kind of aggressive oh and when he told me like oh you got to get out that was strike three already because i'm like i don't like people telling me what to do like i get it you probably want to be a gentleman and you don't want me to be in the car by myself i get it i appreciate that but you could tell me in a nicer way you don't have to be very aggressive with me i believe my camera is about to die you don't have to be very aggressive with me so we're driving home or we're driving back by this point it's already like 11 something like 11 30 i'm tired so we're driving and because he's already been giving me like aggressive vibes i was like oh like you're kind of aggressive like have you ever put your hands on a woman before and he's like what you mean like he's like what you mean what you mean have i ever put my hands on a woman no no i ain't never do that i ain't never do that anything like it would be something like this and he takes his hand he takes his hand and he goes around my neck like this like, can you see he goes around my neck like this and he squeezes it so tight no. i said hold up wait a minute something ain't right i was like whoa what are you doing i like kind of like slapped his hand i was like yo what are you doing you need to chill don't put your hands on me whatever x y and z he's like nah like i just you asked me if i put my hands on a woman and that's how like how i would nothing more than that like just playing i was like that's playing because that was really rough like it really hurt so after that i was like that's strike four five whatever number at this point i'm like all right it's a wrap like i don't want anything to do with this guy so i just kind of was taken back i was like whoa what no he did not <laughs> so after that like we're still driving home whatever and i'm like yo get me out of this car like i'm just looking out the window and i'm like get me out of this car get me out of this car get me out of this car <laughs> so we're driving and then we get we get back to the um the place or whatever in the parking lot and he's like, oh, so like, he's still trying to have a conversation and I'm just like, yo, I'm so over, I'm ready to go. So I'm like, I'm gonna make an exit in my head. I'm like, all right, let me just leave and make a smooth exit. He's still talking to me. So I'm like, oh, I can't find the perfect moment to like get out. So he's still talking, he's still talking. And he's like, oh, I really gotta use the bathroom. Like, can I use the bathroom? And I think he thought that that was a way that I was gonna let him go up to my room. And I was like, no, uh, there's a bathroom downstairs. Like, I'll show you where it is. We go in the building or whatever. And I show him the bathroom and I'm just in the lobby like, should I just go upstairs and like leave him here or what? And I was like, nah, like that's kind of mean. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> so I show him the bathroom and then, uh, so I'm like all the way up here, like running inside and he's like back here, like taking his sweet time. So I'm like, like, what is he doing behind me? Like what's taking him so long? So whatever. So he comes out and then, um, I agree that I was going to go in at like 12, 12 something. So he comes out of the bathroom and we're walking, we're going back to the car. And I was like, wait, it's already like 12. And he's like, oh, worry, you did say you wanted to go back up by 12. Like, all right, cool. And then um, he's like, let me just walk you over here to the elevator. I was like, okay. So he walks me over to the elevator and I'm like, yes, finally I can go upstairs. So he goes in, he's like, oh, I can't get a hub. I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah. So I give him like, you know, like a friend hug, like a little hug like that. And he's like, wow, wow. So that's the kind of hug you're gonna give me? Really? That's what, that's the kind of hug you're gonna give me? Wow, I can't even believe you. Like, you're really trying to play me right now. Oh my God, da, 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 da. Like, he's really going off. And I'm like, over a hug? He's like, nah, nah, forget this. F this, this, that, this, that. And I was like, wow. I was like, it was a hug. Like, okay mind you i'm like i don't care because i'm over it a long time ago so he's like nah 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 and he just gets mad and he just storms off and i was like okay 
So he storms off and I hurry up and run in the elevator and like close, hit the like close button so fast because I'm scared that he's gonna like come back around and like follow me to my room and like I just don't want him to know where I live in my apartment, whatever. So I would like go hurry up and go in the elevator really quick and shut the door. So I get upstairs or whatever and I put my phone down. I go to the bathroom and get ready for bed because I was tired at this point. So I put my phone down and when I came back from the bathroom, I picked my phone up and he called me three times. He texted me four times and was like literally blowing up my phone. I was like, what's up? So I read the message and it was like, wow, I was going to come back for a kiss, but you didn't answer. So never mind. I guess it's too late. And I was like, a kiss? No. I was like, first of all, I was never going to kiss you. Second of all, uh... I don't trust these guys like I don't know where your lips been I don't know who you've been kissing I barely even know you so you're not touching me and third of all no I wasn't feeling you bro so you weren't gonna get a kiss anyway so I just was cracking up so hard it was like literally so funny do you guys hear my dog knocking at the door he's crazy it was literally hilarious so I was like no you're not getting a kiss so don't even think about it and that's on period <laughs> so I just cracked up and I was like lol that's funny um, get home safe and that's all I said and after that I was like no no and no I blocked his number because he already proved all my points he proved that he was crazy he had anger problems he was too aggressive and also people like that like I don't feel comfortable with you knowing where I live or having contact with me in any way shape or form so I was like no mm -mm. blocked his number right off the bat no did I no I don't think I blocked it that night I think like the, the next day he texted me, I didn't respond. Then he called me, I didn't answer. The number you have dialed has been changed. Then he kept calling me and I didn't answer. And then the next day after that, like two days later, he was still calling me and texting me, I wasn't responding. So then after that, I was like, okay, he's not giving it up. I'm just gonna block him. So I blocked him and I was done, done, done. <laughs> the part that got me is when he put his hands on me, I was like, what? You're crazy, don't try me, don't try me. I'm not the one to be tried. So, yes, that was my little story time about the worst thing I ever had. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you girls out there can relate, I'm sure. So, if you had a really bad day or whatever crazy story you had, I would love to hear it in the comments down below. Please let me know in the comments down below. Because, <laughs> sis, us girls, we be going through some crazy stuff out here. And all we're trying to do is just find a husband. That's it. All we want is a husband. Is that too much to ask for? That's all we want. So anyway, yes, let's drink to that. Cheers. That is my story. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't get to finish my food, but that was fine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to put your stories down below because I'm going to be looking, sis. I'm going to be looking. Bye, my faithful. See you in my next video.